Violet's just been really, I, I think, the standout player of this tournament so far. Yeah, Violet uh, uh, may not have been the player that was catching the most attention from everyone, but uh, has certainly done a lot to prove that he's one of the big boys here, ending out on a 4-2 score in third place in the round robin. Right. Uh, and, uh, and he actually beat Hart earlier on in the round robin with a 2-1 to one score. Right. Now right. Hart has an 82% win rate in uh, TVZ. And I was a little surprised by that because of the way some people talk about him as having a little bit of a, an all-in-ish, cheesy kind of style. But I saw what all the hype was in Hart. He played amazing against Dong Reku. Right. And yeah. he Those matches were ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And he plays really smart with his army positioning. That's definitely something to look out for as we go into this game. Even in standard situations, he uses his army in smart ways, like hiding behind smoke screens and being in places where the opponent doesn't expect it. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. All right. Well, we do need in to introduce our players down here in the west hand side of the map. It's going to be Empire Violet up here at the north will be Complexity Hard. And you know, complexity coming into this tournament, uh, not too many people were talking about Gonzi and Hart. The, the big talk of the tournament, obviously, was MKP, MC, DRG, and Parting. Yeah. And here's complexity uh, now with both of their players still in this tournament. And yeah. they're playing so well. I mean, Gonzi got second in the pool. Yeah. Second. No one predicted him to do that. Despite at all. wrist injuries, yeah. th despite, you know, uh, people not exactly uh, thinking that he was going to get there. And second place, uh, very, very well done by him. Now, Violet, he has chosen to scout with a drone and sees this funnily placed barracks. But it's nothing uh, too special nowadays for uh, a Terran to build their barracks, not in the standard location. No real risk since Zergs always open up with a hatchery first. Uh, you reduce the marine travel time. Uh, you kind of create a bit of uh, uncertainty within the Zerg mind about uh, whether you're doing something funny, like maybe another barracks, which is more well hidden, right. uh, and so right. on. Now, should be seeing uh, Command Center here come down for Harp pretty soon as he still has not added on gas. Uh, there's the hatch that you mentioned for Violet, and he did go pull first instead of gas first, so... Uh, his speed will be somewhat delayed on those lings, but regardless, uh, once he gets the spine crawler down, I'm sure that Hart will be opening up Hellions. I'll be very, very surprised if he does not. Uh, Violet should be able to deal with him. Yeah, probably going to throw up a s uh, first and a second refinery in his main base shortly hereafter. First going to add a supply depot. There we see the first refinery, and as uh, his minerals hit 75, we're likely s to see him take the second one. Yep. Now Hart, he, uh, I've saw, I saw him play against, uh, I believe it was Dong Regu, on this map, uh, mm -hmm. the way he opened up was uh, exactly like this. And then he added this factory and the reactor, obviously. Uh -huh. He made uh, four Helions. And Dorigu was going with this style of delayed gas, quick four queens to get a lot of creep spread. And he also used one spine crawler to defend. Right. And now, right. the heart, uh, he kind of said, okay, I'll call your bluff. You think you can defend with that? And you're used to Terrans not really committing their Helions in the Zerg base anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. He ran in with the four Helions and he got 12 drone kills. Wow. Following it up with the Cloak Banshee, who also got a lot of kills. And then he went for Mech, Thor's Helions. Wow. Uh, it didn't work out in the end. Dongregu came back, but it was a strong opening gambit. However, Violet has been playing it differently. We see that he's added a Roach Warren, as you just showed. Right. Now, that's kind of an interesting thing that a lot of Terrans do so many different things with. For Hart to go up with that many Hellions uh, is pretty, I would say, uncharacteristic of Terrans. A lot of them do not like playing that risky, because if you lose all of those Hellions and don't get those important drone kills, yeah. you are so far behind. Oh, and is... Oh, second is factory already. Back? Oh, is this is on? most likely first going to signify uh, a double a uh, double reactor Helion opening. Right, right. If he adds on these two gas pretty soon, it will be some mech uh, play here. But there is the first. Uh, and oh, he yeah. go blue okay. flame? So he's going to make reactor Helions from his first uh, factory, and he's going to make blue flame from his second factory. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, but we'll see how that works out for him, but... There's some roaches coming. Violet is always doing Ooh, this in a lot of matchups. Very aggressive. Uh, we see just 22 drones and five roaches on the field. And then he's ba gone back to droning. So these roaches are to do some damage. They're not uh, all in. He wants to maybe break through the bunker and kill some SCVs. And also get information about what the opponent is doing. Now we're going to have to see how quickly Hard will pull SCVs to repair all this. Because uh, he already completed the full wall off. So there's not that much that, Helium, uh, that the roaches can do at this point. And if he uh, chips away at the destructible debris, there's not going to be anything Hart can really do to block that. Even with the Hellions coming out, 
Uh, they don't really do anything against those roaches. So at this point, Hart might just run by, and yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do with these Hellions. He knows that the roaches are primarily at his natural. Yeah. And somewhat of a late spine crawler here, Grubby. Yeah, I don't think uh, Violet was ready for this uh, at all. This is going to hurt him a lot. Moreover, uh, Hart has the ability to make a siege tank. Normally, maybe he would have queued a Helion, uh, but now he's making a tank. Tanks are great against Roaches, and now we see the Helions going into the Zerg main base, and they're getting their first drone kill. There is a second, now getting a third and a fourth, and wow. they're nowhere near being finished off. We don't see speedlings out. Roaches are kind of slow to come out. And now loads of drones are being toasted. And this is just terrible for uh, Violet. Yeah, he is getting a lot. Oh, and he actually is uh, now worried about his naturals. The roaches have slipped in here. And now it is Violet racking up the kills here. Already up to eight SCVs. The tank is not doing anything over here at the natural because he's dealing with keeping wow. his Hellions alive, and Violet actually cleaned that up. That went way better for Violet than it should have. Uh, yeah. we, we really saw Hart kind of losing control of his Hellions as they were attacking Queens for a while, and the tank being very slow to join the party. And now if we take a look at the total worker kills, we see uh, actually Violet killing 11 and Hart killing 13. It's not good for Violet by any means. Uh, this hurt him more than it helped him, but uh, it's way better than it could have been. And two more factories coming in for Hart here as he adds on his third and fourth refinery. Might even see him throw down uh, third command center here pretty soon. That is a lot of SCVs queued up. Yeah. Uh, that's I'd something that a lot of Terran players are just doing at this tournament for some reason. Th they queue up way too many units. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We saw that in Ganji who yeah. was uh, at 19 minutes, three base with just uh, four barracks. But uh, yeah, as you predicted, we see a full on mech play from Hart four factories now and with an armory and one thing i've seen him do is uh, at some point he stops making scvs if we take a look now at the production tab no scvs being queued at this moment or maybe it's because he was supply blocked but uh, right. i just want to say before he was uh, stopping scvs for a while against dongregu and then just attacked but then he did make a third command center as he was moving out so he has macro plans he has uh, long game plans but he wants to maximize the power of his punch at a certain time in the game where it might be hard for the Zerg to fend off uh, at that particular time. So very curious to see what kind of timing he's going to hit here. How many Thors, how many tanks and Helions will he move out with? And uh, it might be hard for Violet because yeah. Violet's been continually producing army on and off. So he's not right. really getting ready for any particular timing. Yeah, and the other thing too is with these Blue Flame Hellions out, it's going to be pretty hard for him to sneak in an expansion. We even saw him doing it right there. Yeah. If it gets down, the hatchery starts being built, then it will obviously complete because Hellions are not going to be able to do anything to that hatchery unless we have some uh, tanks or Thors get cross map. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Hellions will take down a hatchery very, very but slowly indeed. But oh, oh nice! He gets it at the last second. One l lone that's Hellion. Yeah. That's the kind of thing I mean. Okay, you've got eight Hellions, you can kind of posture around the front. But that one Helion there, that says, yeah, that's a big delay on the expansion. Yeah. And that's and that's just so smart. That's the kind of thing Hart does, man. And finally that hat trick going down. Hart pulling ahead supply-wise here. Uh, but of course that is because he has so many uh, Thors coming out. Tanks getting a lot of Hellions here already out on the map. When will he go for an attack? So how many Hellions is he currently I assume to? that Hart is going to move out when his first vehicle uh, attack upgrade is about 80%, so that it would about finish as he attacks. Uh, I don't see him just waiting that long in order to get a second attack. This would be a very, very strong timing. Already 30 supply ahead uh, in uh, attack, and uh, Hellions almost in yeah. the kind of numbers that they can take out these roaches. Yeah, you know, when you see Hellions come up and, and get a roach to half HP, you know something is going on with their uh, count here. Look at them actually take that one out. As That's not something you would expect, but those Hellions in, in huge numbers like that are really, really strong against almost anything. Oh, that's so smart, though, coming in for Violet, making that's sure good. that the mech count doesn't get too crazy here in the opening of this match. Yeah, taking out one factory for a while, that's definitely something that will help him. Uh, if we take a look at Violet's strategy choice. He has actually chosen to add a fourth hatchery with the philosophy of like, okay, well, my third hatchery is a full on one and a half minute later than I would like to have had it. I'm just going to compensate and adding right. a fourth one. But that will decrease his uh, strength at this particular time until it starts to kick in. Yeah, the other thing too, I mean, Mech is just very immobile compared to uh, the bio forces. So he could probably get this up in mind from it until this attack comes out for Hart. Hart's going for a very, very strong two base attack here not getting a uh, third command center or anything like that. Yeah, not adding any SCVs uh, anymore at this point either. Is starting to queue up his second attack, but it seems like he's ready now, and there's just no way at all that Violet can hold this. Even now queuing up 12 additional drones. So oh Violet needs no. to identify 
this moving out, he will notice in the middle of the map and he has to trade base. He has to send those roaches on the right, top side there, and uh, uh, go trade base. These roaches will get taken out exceedingly easy, easily. I, I love what uh, Hart actually just did. He delayed a lot of this force uh, until like the last possible moment to move forward. And now, Violet's a little bit scared, and he is going for that uh, base trade scenario. He slips straight into the natural here, but oh, Grubby, there's so much stuff here for Hart going into the natural Violet. Yeah, and Violet is uh, very, very far away from even having the slightest sliver of a chance of defending this. This base trade is the best thing he can do at this moment, but where will it stop? Violet will take down Hart's base quite slowly, does have a supply lead, yep. but he is locked effectively inside his base. Did not break the rocks between the second and the third base yet, and uh, as all these drones are getting toasted, so is uh, Violet's hope of ever getting a decent economy anymore. A yep. full-on base straight ensues, and Hart lifts off and goes to the island. Yeah, the one nice thing about this map is that there is an island island up here, and also the fact that Hart's playing Terran, so you yeah. can access it. This nice for Hart, and yeah. not so much for Violet. Hart chose the right race, Grubby. Yeah, Nobody's for this right here, for this map. <laughs> <laughs> so everything just getting demolished here for Violet. Uh, he's going to take out the rest of these depots here. Now, uh, one nice thing that Violet is doing, he researched Burrow and he's using it now. So these drones, they're burrowed here. And with all the orbitals lifting off, momentarily, Hart does not have scan. Uh -huh. now, <laughs> the Helios are torching the drones by uh, virtue of their splash well, yeah, he damage. Knows it. He knows you think he does? I think so, yeah. Well, oh. can he actually s you can see that? Right? No, you can't actually see it when they don't move, but... Oh, he knows now because he saw yeah. so many bodies, so yeah. he might have been aiming for more of them. Well, and as his orbitals land on the island, he could do a scan as well, because if he leaves drones behind there, that's going to help Violet in this base trade situation. Yeah, one thing, actually, uh, that I didn't really think about is if he's playing on low graphics, I don't know if that animation shows up of the drones actually burning like that. So, uh, Well, uh, I think you still see a uh, corpse uh, okay. appearing. Okay. Well, now Violet throwing down hatcheries everywhere. Three hatcheries being built on the east side of the map. Yep, and he's still mining uh, from over here. The big thing, too, is look at the supply. 69 of 22. It's going to be a while uh, before Hart is going to be able to produce. But he has mules, Grubby, and mules are pretty good because they cost no supply and they just mine so damn much. Yeah, this game is all but uh, a foregone conclusion. It does seem like Violet is light years away from... Uh, being able to somehow get air tech out, so he cannot physically get to the island. He does not have drop research. Um, it will take a long time for him to be able to do that. So, and now we kind of see why uh, the original Metropolis version did have creep on the island, because right. you wouldn't be able to do something like this. And now, yeah, Blizzard changed the version with uh, just rocks, but that allows a Terran to win any base trade situation where everyone is uh, cast back to the Stone Age in terms of their technological tree. Yeah, and a fungal going down on uh, those Hellens, but the Infestor was taken out. And, and that was the last yeah. Infestor there was. Now we've just got 15 drones and 18 roaches. Oh, no. And this, whoa, okay. Actually whoa, did pull. he see that? Uh, let's, let's take a look at the vision. View real quick. Yes. He did actually see it. Uh, I'm not sure why he didn't go. I, it is. I think the roaches popped up there when the uh, siege tanks were not in siege mode, so he was a little bit fearful. But he's, uh, he's actually mining again over here. And he's still yeah. down to Roach Warren. He had uh, a lot of uh, minerals as well, but so does Hart over here. And I believe he does have his four factories. Where is Hart building Supply Depot? It must be at the south side of the map, isn't right, it? Yeah, right here. He's just got one SCV. And every Supply Depot he'll make, he can call down supply from the orbital. If he didn't have that SCV, Hart would never be able to create a single SCV. Right. And then he wouldn't be able to make Supply Depots. And then he wouldn't actually be able to make anything extra. That's actually such a great point that now Hart, I mean, both players are kind of getting back in this game, but Hart's army, uh, as we look at the army supply there, 60 to 38. Yeah. Hart's playing a little bit too scared, I think. Uh, time is not helping his, him as much as he might think. Uh, there's a very small army from Violet on the field. The thing is, if Violet had somehow been able to kill that SCV, this would be a different story. Now Hart is soon going to reach positive supply again and then he can use the, those four factory of his to start uh, increasing his uh, unit lead once again so right now I mean both players are, are a little bit hesitant to move out Hart because uh, he knows that there are burrowed roaches out on the field 
And actually, the harvester count here for Violet is getting pretty high. Yeah, Already not too to bad. 30, 30 drones uh, spread base. out over three bases. Oh, yeah, three bases. And right. he's actually started roach production. So if we take a look at the army uh, value. Oh, my. I actually He's just getting got closer. chills, man. What if Violet yeah. is able to come back and win this game? The supply is almost at 100 compared to the 66 of Heart. Uh, if he could actually take out those Thors and engage where the Siege Stakes are not in Siege right. mode, he will win this game, guys. This is I thought it was over, but Violet's clawing back. Yeah, we don't have tunneling claws, do we, on, on, on Roaches? Or, or maybe oh, we, we do. do. We do, yeah. Yeah, okay, so we've got Tunneling Claws, and that's definitely something that's going to help him. Now, this Overseer oh. spotted. He's trying to get a Raven out here, Grubby, so he can move across the map and not be uh, not be caught off guard uh, by those good roaches. Good point. Nice uh, tip for uh, you noobs out there, no offense. Uh, Tech Lab being built on Starport. It doesn't actually get uh, halted when you uh, oh, put no. the goop on the Starport. Oh. Should he have put it on the... Uh, can you do that? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not. We'll have to ask the TLO. Yeah. He knows everything about <laughs> this game. But it did not help, so uh, there's been no delay. Oh, cloaked banshee, cloaked tricky. Banshee. Now there was a tech lab spotted by the overseer on the starport, so very excellently, Violet is now adding an evolution chamber. Yeah, yeah, because of course he is not on lair tech uh, at the moment. Yeah, he has to rely on those spore crawlers. But look how many a lot roaches, of roaches he's up on to. the field already. Thirty-seven, 37 roaches. Man. Uh, I, oh, this game. If if you can believe that the players spawn here, and now yeah. on the other hand, <laughs> side of the map, uh, would you believe us? I I don't know. This game is shaping up to be quite quite wild here, as uh, this is Hearts' only mining base at the moment. I'm not sure why he doesn't lift this off it and try to go get another base going. But I guess Violet. Yeah, he does has have overlords a lot of overlords. Yeah. You can see if we go into his view. Everything except the middle base here. Right. Here. right. Yeah. Yeah. So here is that banshee. No spore crawler yet. Now will Burrow summon, make a spore. It won't actually finish with the Banshee there lording over it. And no cancel there. Hart cannot actually move out right here. If he moves out, uh, Violet's going to have the, the perfect position on him. It's kind but of a catch-22, uh -oh. though. He can't really wait either. He's mining a lot less than Violet. Right, right. Income-wise, 33 to 17. But uh-oh, Violet getting a little bit... Uh, a bit aggressive there with his roaches, but these siege tanks up on the high ground are going to make sure that he cannot come in. Will he start a raven? No, he's not. So he's pretty happy. Interesting. With I think here. your plan was actually better to make a raven because he can time is around. working against him. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, I, has he seen? Yeah. What does Hart know? He actually knows about all of this. So hmm, interesting. Of course, banshees cannot be attacked by roaches. That's something right. that helps. So we've seen Violet tech to tier two. He's now researching drops and uh, overlord speed. Nothing to deal with the Banshees yet, besides the defensive Spore Crawler and, uh, and Queens. Banshees will be able to poke holes here. Uh, they've got Cloak, they will take down the Squeed in record speed. No additional Queens being added yet. Queen luckily survived and now they're taking down a lot of drones. And I feel like not enough Spores yet, earlier on by uh, Violet. Yeah, I, he didn't really make all that Oh, much. actually he has no Spores at all here. I'm, I'm very, very... Oh, there we go, yeah. He's got one, yeah, but it's unburned so we can't, of course, see. Uh, well, now he can't get landed, but... I think Violet actually messed up. He, he should have been a lot better prepared here at this uh, new main base of his. Yeah, and this was the most Banshee. important one. It really is, yeah, because this is where all of his tech lies. So now he's going to lose his Roach Warren. Uh, go Did he get his drop going to be... Yeah, it's, okay, it's, yeah. it's, it's 75%. 50 Roaches, Grubby. 50 Roaches, Army 51. size, 106 to 64, but he cannot engage. A oh, he's actually on Siege, but yeah, he has no Violet. way of knowing that. Yeah. It's too bad he doesn't have our view, right? No Roach Warren being recreated yet at uh, the very top right most base of Violet. Uh, I saw before that he kind of lost his composure when uh, MC was attacking him with Void Rays and Phoenixes. We kind of see the same thing again. He kind of chokes up when he's being attacked by an Air Force with which he doesn't have against which he doesn't have uh, a mobile standing army. And uh, once again, uh, he's just making spore crawlers, really not doing anything else, no expansions, no queens, no mobile force that can take this out. And uh, Hart is uh, utilizing this weakness in uh, Violet's uh, play oh, very much. Oh, Grubby, this is gonna be the move that decides this game here. About to see how many overlords are taking here out here. Only two Thors though. So they're not going to be able to kill it. I think that Violet might just win right here, Grubby. I think you're right, drop JP. Big drop and everything here. is getting destroyed for Heart. The Roach is dealing so much damage. All that remains are these two Thors. Army supply. Oh, my God. Violet. Are you kidding me? He just came back and won that game, Grubby.